everybody, it's me Nia and seeing as it's autumn now, which is my favourite season ever, I thought I'd show you my autumn makeup routine which is just what I've been wearing all throughout September and October. The first thing I'm going to do is prime my face using the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. I love this because it just makes your skin feel so, so soft and your makeup just glides on after you've applied it. Get my hair out my face. For my foundation, I'm going to use my MAC Studio Fix Fluid in the shade NW10. I love this foundation, it honestly glides on amazingly. It has such good coverage but it's really lightweight and you don't feel like it's caking up or anything. I just love this foundation and it also lasts all day which is a very good thing. <laughs> For my concealer, I'm using the 17 Stay Time Concealer, which I don't think I can rave enough about. This is amazing. It's only 50p more than the Collection Lasting Perfection, which everyone raves about. But I honestly think that this is so, so much better. I'd even compare it to the Naked Skin Concealer, but it's just 50p more than the Collection Lasting Perfection one. And I honestly feel like it's just so what's the word it's got such high coverage it's so easily blendable and oh i just love it it doesn't cake up on your face i feel like the collection lasting perfection one cakes up on your face but it's just got such high coverage and i love it to death i use it every single day and being only four pounds 49 i think this is a holy grail concealer to be honest I always, always, always do this, but to blend my concealer out, I'm going to use my Real Techniques Beauty uh, what? My Real Techniques Beauty Blender and some Mac Fix Plus. This smells amazing. <laughs> I really like to spray my Beauty Blender with Mac Fix Plus to just dampen it because it makes your makeup stay longer because it's a setting spray and also it just makes it easily, no, it makes it more easy to blend. To set everything I'm going to go in with the Rimmel London Stay Matte Powder which everybody loves including me. It's just amazing. I feel like in autumn you don't want to look ghostly pale but you don't want to look really really tanned either. So I'm just going to do a light bit of bronzer and I'm going to use the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Solo Bronzer which I feel like is really buildable so it's not too strong and it's just buildable. I know this is more of a bronzer but because I'm really pale I use it for a contour. I'm just going to contour with Benefits Hula. I love it so much. It's just gorgeous. Next up for my blush I'm using MAC Margin which is my all time favourite blush. It's just such a gorgeous colour. And I'm just going to put that on the apples of my cheeks and a bit on my nose because it's meant to be cold outside and it's autumn. Now I'm just using MAC Soft and Gentle which is the most gorgeous highlight you will ever lay your eyes on. It's so it's just beautiful. Prime my eyes, I'm just using the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, which is honestly the best thing ever. It just makes your eyeshadow last all day and it doesn't crease or anything. I love it. I think this is my favourite part, it's eyeshadow. I literally 
adore this palette. This is the Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Eyeshadow Palette. And, oh, it's just so autumnal. I really like this corner over here the most, like, those, wait, let me show you, those ones. And I'm taking the shade Peanut Butter and I'm gonna apply it all over my lid. It's just the most amazing orangey brownie colour. And now I'm just gonna go, oh, uh, uh. and now I'm just gonna go in with the shade Frosting, which is the most gorgeous shimmery dark brown colour, and I'm gonna blend that into my crease. I just dropped my eyeshadow brush. And then what I'm gonna do is take the two colours, peanut butter and frosting, along my lash line and blend them together. And then finally, to tie the whole look together, I'm gonna take the shade at the bottom, Butter Pecan, and apply it in the inner corner of my eye and also on my brow bone. Now that I've done my eyeshadow, I'm gonna move on to eyeliner and in autumn I quite like to do winged eyeliner and have like a little cat eye. So I'm gonna use my all time favorite NARS eyeliner stilo and I'm gonna do a cat eye, which I absolutely hate doing on camera because it's just, oh, I don't know, it's just a lot of pressure and it's like, oh. So, fingers crossed. And then to sort of make my eyeshadow look more smoky, I'm gonna take my Body Shop Smoky Eye Definer in the shade Wood, and I'm gonna apply this in my waterline. This is sort of the same shade as Frosting, so they sort of blend together and it looks really nice. I actually always use this. This is my number one eyebrow product. I barely ever use anything else but my Bobbi Brown eyebrow kit and I'm gonna take the lightest shade and just fill in my brows to curl my lashes what else would I use other than the one pound Primark eyelash colors which I literally always 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 rave about because they're just so good and they're really cute I mean look and I'm just gonna curl my lashes and then apply some of the Their Real Tinted Primer, which is a tester. I love it so much, so I think I'm gonna have to get the big version soon because the tester's running out and it's making me really sad. So I'm definitely gonna have to go get the big one. This is a lash primer. So you put it on before your mascara and I find it just separates my lashes and makes them look really nice and then my mascara follows on nicely and my lashes don't clump together and look all horrible and then after i've primed my lashes i'll apply a couple of coats of the actual their real mascara because i just love this mascara it's most amazing and uh, it separates my lashes really nice it makes them look really big and black and voluminous and I love it the final product in my autumn makeup routine is a lipstick and I'm using my MAC fetish because it is the most gorgeous brown bronzy shade and I just love it to death I hope you enjoyed this video if you did 
give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my channel comment down below what your go-to makeup look is like what colors and i will see you next time goodbye